A Stuck Up Return by Emily and Henry. It was a beautiful day in the island of Soda, but the Soda Engines were very cross. An old rival had arrived to help, but with extra workloads, it was all just stuck up. To top him hat, I explained to the engines that old stuck up was the only engine available. The engines knew that they were in for a rough time. James and Henry were at tit in the sheds while they heard old stuck up's horn. Oh, bother! Here he comes, grumbled Henry. Old stuck up arrived at tit in the sheds. He had a big grin on his face. What are you so happy about? asked James. Oh, nothing, said old stuck up. But since you asked, I just pulled an extremely heavy goods strain and arrived at Brendam Docks right on time. A few workmen told me I am a very dependable engine. Sure you are, grumbled Henry. Ah, yes, continued Old Stuckup. It'll be a matter of time that you dirty, smoky, slow things will be taken out of service and replaced by strong and dependable diesels like me. James and Henry rolled their eyes. Just then, Old Stuckup saw Toby passing by. Ha! chuckled old Stuckup. That small old tram engine should have been taken out of service years ago. Emily and James were furious. Now you see, fumed Henry. Toby's a very useful engine. And very helpful, said James. He's helped us out before. If you're not careful, you'll need his help soon enough. Pa! snorted old Stuckup. As if I need... Help from a pitiful tram engine. James had enough. He steamed crossly away. Henry followed shortly after. Well, looks like I had just all to myself, chuckled old stuck up. But after an hour passed, Edward arrived at his machettes. Old stuck up didn't say anything. He just gave Edward a dirty look and sped away. That night, the engine had an indignation meeting. He hasn't changed a bit, fumed Percy. What do you expect? He's a spiteful diesel that will never change, snorted Gordon. What he needs is a good bump off the rails, said James. I can help with James. You will not bump him off the rails, interrupted Edward. It will not solve the problem. Edward's right, said Henry. Sooner or later, old stuck-up will get his comeuppance. The next morning, Gordon's fire would not, would not light which means another engine would have to pull the express, whether Gordon is unable to pull the express. Jen, James, Henry, or Bear would pull it. Bear was at the diesel works, so unable to pull it. James was certain he was going to pull the express today. But, to his dismay, Sir Topham Hatt chose old Stuckup. Toby was at Napper Station. He was going to take some passengers to Cadham Castle. Just then, old Stuckup arrived. He looked at Toby and Henriette and laughed. You call that a couch? She looks more like she's better off as a hen house. Old Stuckup sped away with the express. Henrietta in tears. Toby was livid. Late in the afternoon, Toby headed off to the dairy. He had collected some trucks of cheese. He arrived, he noticed there was a long line of cream tankers. And he heard a familiar horn. I'll say him again, groaned Toby. Sure enough, old stuck up arrived and coupled up to the cream tankers. So you're going to be pulling four trucks, I see. How pitiful, said old stuck up. Toby was losing his patience. Does it matter? Of course it matters. Take a look at me. I am going to be pulling fifteen tankers. I am a useful engine after all. Oh, Toby asked innocently. Is crashing up to his shed useful? Old stuck up went red in the face and fumed away. Who does that Tramagin think he is? grumbled old stuck up. I'll show him. I'll show everyone that I'm a dependable and useful engine. Take it de- take it easy, cautioned his driver. You might need to run you might run into trouble again. But old stuck up wasn't listening. It would be better off if he had old stuck up was approaching Gordon's Hill. As he was climbing up the deep slope, he was realizing how fast he was going. He must slow down at once, cried his driver. Then, Old Stuckup noticed he was approaching the tight bend. Brake blocks and buffers cried, Old Stuckup. I must slow down, I must, but it was too late. Old Stuckup derailed and ended up on his side in a fed. The first five tankers were in pieces and cream was all over Old Stuckup. James was passing by with the slow goods. When he heard Old Stuckup, 
He laughed. Well, well, well. Looks like old Stuckup got creamed today. It's not funny, murmured old Stuckup. It wasn't long when Henry arrived with Julie and Jerome. Toby arrived as well to take the undamaged tankers away. Once old Stucker was back on the rails, Henry took him to the diesel works where Tom Hat was waiting for him. You are a very vile engine, scolded Tom Hat. You must be rude to all my engines, especially Toby. For many years he had proved he had a useful tram engine. So once you decide to clean up and be prepared, you will return home at once. He turned and walked away. Three days had passed, and old Stucker was repaired and heading home. Old Stuckup stopped at Vickers Town Station. Toby, Henry and James were there too. Did you hear what happened? asked James innocently. What happened? said Toby. A certain deal recently got creamed, laughed James. Looks like he's cheesed off, laughed Henry. Toby, Henry and James had a good laugh, while old Stuckup sucked. Thank you, Emily and Henry, for letting me narrate this. If you listen to this, have a good day.